my name's Chris. What's going on? Hi, Chris. My name's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Uh, what's on your mind today? Well, I'm, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I'm starting to think that I'm a girl. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely talk about that. Um, just beforehand, how old are you, Kyle? Thirteen. I, I used to think like I was a normal boy. And yesterday, I played with a Barbie, and I really liked it. How are you feeling about kind of these thoughts that you, you know, might or could be a girl? I'm kind of liking it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're you're feeling, you know, pretty good about these thoughts. Um, have you talked about these thoughts with anyone else? Um, my little sister, just a little bit, but she's only three months old, so I don't, she couldn't really tell me, like, anything. She can't really yeah. talk much, but I just told her. Yeah, okay, well... I don't know, it just seems kind of, kind of normal now to have these feelings, so it's, I'd rather talk to somebody who knows how to talk, and then I found this website, and then so I called, and before I do any type of, like, at-home surgeries, I kind of want to just, like, make sure it's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, of course. When when you say, like, at-home surgeries, what do you, what do you mean by that? Well, I was kind of thinking about sneaking a knife and, you know, lopping off an inch or two. Oh, okay, um, got you. Yeah, I mean, can you, can you tell me a, a little bit more about, like, where your thought process is right now? There's two ways. I didn't want to, like, put the burden on my family by having them pay to have some type of surgery to switch me over. So I wasn't really sure how all that stuff works, but um, I know something's hanging there, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, and, and can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with your family at the moment? Oh, it's awesome. They're cool. Have you ever, like, talked about this topic in general with your parents or anything like that? No, at school, I, I talked to one of my teachers, and she said, just don't tell your parents. So I was kind of listening to her. It was kind of on the down low for a little bit, so I haven't told them yet. That's because my teacher told me not to. So I can try. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. They, just... I got to wait for them to be ready for it. Maybe when they, like, get home from the bar. Is that where they're at right now? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about the conversation that you had with your teacher about this? I just told her this pretty much the same thing as you, that, you know, played with Barbie doll, kind of felt like a girl, was thinking of at-home surgeries, and she said, don't tell my parents, and make sure to sterilize the butter knife. That that's what the your teacher told you. For the most part, yeah. Just she said, just make sure it's it's safe. I think she said, hmm. I think she might have said. I'm trying to think. One sec. I think she might have said, heat the butter knife in the microwave so it gets hot. And how did that make you feel when your teacher said that? Well, I mean, she teaches me math, science, and so I kind of think she's really smart. So, I don't know. You you don't know how that made you feel? Oh, it made me feel good because she's really smart. How long have you been kind of having these thoughts or feelings for in regards to you might be, you, you saying you might be a girl? Um, just, just since yesterday, once I played with my sister's Barbie. Can you, can you tell me a little bit more about what you think it might be like to tell your parents this stuff? It would be just fine, I'm assuming. Like, actually, maybe they can help me with the at-home surgery. Or what mama don't know can't hurt you is kind of what I've been living my life by. I know you mentioned some, some worries about money um, previously in the call. Can you tell me a little bit more about those worries? To put it straight, it's probably not very cheap to cut a wiener off. 
So, I wouldn't want my parents to have to pay for it. Ah, they're poor as fuck. They probably ain't got that shit. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, your parents might be able to, to look into that for you if, if you were willing to talk to your parents about that. Or I'll just listen to what my teacher said and just just go for it and then uh, say it was an accident, and then it should be fine. You don't think you would want to talk to your parents beforehand? Should I? Do, do you think you should? Maybe, but I'm 13. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, doing uh, home surgery is, is not always a safe option so uh, many things could go wrong with that and you know we we like to look out for people's safety do you feel like that would be safe for you there were a couple youtube videos on it and i have pierced my ears before so i think i should be fine okay i mean you mentioned previously in the call for example that your teacher said to put a butter knife in the microwave and, and that's um, not something that's really safe because metal shouldn't be going in a microwave. What? Really? Can plastic? Go in a microwave? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it, it could melt. I could? Hmm. How should I do it then? I'll think about it, but I'm trying to figure out this solution, so... I can't put a microwave or a metal in the microwave, but does electricity heat things up? So if I put the butter knife into an electrical outlet, that would do it. Okay, can you tell me just a little bit more about just how you're feeling in general about all this? Well, I'm extra happy now that we got this figured out. What do you mean when you say we got this figured out? That we can safely heat up this butter knife. I mean, that wouldn't be safe to put it in an electrical outlet lead either. What? Well, maybe I'll just lop it off with a grinder, I guess. I don't know. Is, are, are your parents home from the bar right now? Yeah, my dad just just rolled up. He was only there for a few hours. It's what they do every morning. No, go ahead. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say my my dad, every every night, my mom and my dad, they go to the bar. Sometimes they call it, um, they work there. Um, sometimes they call it a, a strip club or something. And, like, my mom just does, like, yoga dancing. Okay. Okay, got you. Um... Um, what do you feel like would be most helpful for you currently? Um, I think we cleared it all. I think I have a plan of action. I'm ready to go. In, in terms of talking with your parents? Yeah, I think, uh, I think my dad's really going to understand this. So, um, I guess first thing, see if they got the money. If not, stick that butter knife in that outlet. Okay. And, and where did you get the idea about the butter knife in the outlet? I saw it in some cartoons. Mm. Okay, and, and you're feeling like that would be safe for you? They do it in cartoons, so probably. I think I'm going to come out of this a new person. This is awesome. Okay, yeah, I mean, it, it, we definitely want to help and support you. It sounds like you're going through a lot right now. What? I'm perfectly fine. Is there a, like a good website I can talk to you on or something? What's your, like your Instagram or something? Got OnlyFans? <laughs> Just kidding. 